Welcome back guys. We've got the blade all shaped out, got the bevels ground in, uh, got it down really close to the size that uh, we want, the final thickness here. Uh, what we're going to do today is heat treat. So I'm going to fire up the forge. I'll be uh, throwing this into the forge, getting it hot, letting it cool down pretty slow, just uh, normalizing as they say. Um, get all the structure right and all that and then uh, I've got some oil right there that I will be quenching the blade in and that will make it a instead of a, a piece of metal it'll make it into a blade it'll harden the steel uh, help hold an edge and uh, that's, uh, that's what you want on a, on a knife you gotta have, have a, a good hard blade so that it does hold a good cutting edge um, so let's get the forge fired up and I'm ready to go. So I've got the forge on now. I was going to show you inside real quick. I have a little piece of square tubing with a piece of angle iron in there. Um, that's what I'm going to actually place the blade into. I don't want to overheat the, the tip of the blade um, since it tapers down from the, the back towards the, the point. Uh, I want to avoid that point from getting uh, overly heated and messing up the structure in there. So I put that in there as kind of a heat sink. It kind of helps even out the heat. There's not a the flame's not directly on the the blade itself. It's on that square tubing, um, and I'll slide it in there, and that way we're we're getting a much more even even temperature to it. Um, just to, let that, uh, let that keep getting warm, and once it's uh, nice and, and red and orange, we'll uh, throw the blade in there. All right, forge is up to temperature. I'm going to put the blade in now, and uh, let it warm up. And I'll pull it out, and I'll set it down on this fire brick, let it just cool down slowly. even heat all the way through just to let it cool down right there I think I had a little oil or something got on that brick it's laying on the, uh, the garage floor all right well that's cooling down I'm gonna take take a minute and I'm gonna warm up the oil that I'm gonna quench this in it's pretty cool uh, upper 50s here the oil's been sitting and so it's it's the same temperature so I'm gonna throw a old scrap blade in the forge and, and get it hot and then I'll do the quenching process so to speak just to warm that oil up uh, so it's not quite so cold so we don't get such a shock on the steel Right now the oil is about 81. It's been sitting pretty close to the uh, to the forge, so it's soaking in some of the some of the heat from that. But I've got that, that scrap steel in the uh, in the forge. It's hot and ready now. I'm gonna put it in and get this oil up over 100, 150, 195. You know, just kind of somewhere in that range. And it'll it'll cool a little as we're working the, the letting the other blade normalize. But uh, here we go.
go. Just a hair over 200. Uh, so we're going to let it uh, cool off a little bit while we're doing that. We should be right, right there where we need to be uh, so that we're not, you know, stressing that steel out too much, getting it too cold too fast. Uh, we want to make sure the, the oil is up you know, at a decent temperature. Normalization cycle number one just finished. Blade uh, it's cooled down. So we'll throw it back in the forge, let it heat up, let it cool down again. cycle complete. Now I'm going to throw it into the forge, get the oil out here ready to go, and when we get it up to temperature, we're going to quench it in the oil. It'll cool just a little bit, then i got to file and we'll check the hardness. Uh, you can, I don't know how well y'all can hear it or not, but you know this just digs right in and, and cuts right on there. With the proper hardness, it'll just skate across it won't really dig and there's a different sound to it as well you can just tell it, it just skates across there so all right let's uh, get that into the forge get it up to temperature get the oil over here ready to go the oil that I'm using is uh, canola oil and uh, a little uh, automatic transmission fluid um, it gives a nice uh, nice thin consistency which is important to kind of dissipate and help cool it down. If it were too thick and viscous, it, it, the heat wouldn't transfer away from the blade quick enough and cool it, getting us the, the hardness that we want. Um, but it's oil, and so it's still it is more viscous than water, which cools the blade a little slower, but the, the faster you cool it, the harder the blade will be. But the harder the blade is, the more brittle it will be, the more open to, to cracking and coming apart. So, blade is up to temperature. It is ready. Let's uh, pull it out of there and uh, get it in the oil. biting it off that's hard so the next thing now we'll uh, go back to the sander the belt sander and we're going to start getting a real fine polish on it and as soon as we get that then uh, we'll be ready to, to put it in the, the acid in the etch and have that pattern show up I can see the pattern already it uh, looks pretty cool Looks a little different on each side, but we'll uh, we'll reveal the whole whole pattern here in a little while. 